another video on my computer today. Um, so what uh, is happening is it's just booting into the BIOS and uh, it's really annoying. It took me ages to figure this out. Um, it was being close to a past computer, so but um, here it is now. I'm just going to show you the solution and the problem first. So um, I'll turn you around and I'll show you. So the problem is that um, you just turn your computer on like normal. Yeah, just uh, press the power button like normal, do everything like that. Then it comes up with my password because I put one there. Then it just goes straight to the BIOS. And if you go over to the boot tab or here, it doesn't have any boot options. I haven't got a USB stick in, so it hasn't got any boot option apart from the setup. So, uh, sorry guys, but this is in, an internal fix, so you can't, it's, it's, not for the amateurs or anything like that. So it's internal. If you're too worried, um, it's not that hard. But if you're too worried, I wouldn't do it. So um, what you do is you just power it off, unplug it, just hold the power button for about five seconds. Yep, and then uh, you just plug the battery. So, sorry guys, I couldn't, I probably couldn't do this one handed, but um, I'll give it a go and if it doesn't work. There we go. Alright, so, oh, sorry, you, and that, sorry, discharge it when the battery's out. So, um, for about five seconds. Alright, so this is the taking apart bit. So the problem is, um, with, uh, it's with the hard drive, so it can't boot off the hard drive, because I found that, that mine was loose. So you might, you'll have to locate your hard drive in your computer, because it's different to mine, unless you've got the same model. But I'm not going to be very gentle with this, because it's got no screws, so... But um, anyway, here's the hard drive in here. So what you want to do is just push it in. Of course, if you don't have one, you can't push anything in. But you just push the hard drive in, put the flap back. Uh, then you just put the battery back in. Flip it over. Plug it in. If I can get to the car. Open it up. Turn it on. And you'll see the magic happen. Hopefully. There we go. So now it's booting into Windows. Um, I'll make... I'll show you that it actually does work. And it doesn't just get to some step and then stop. But um, it should also work for the setup in Windows because um, at the start it couldn't find any drives and it's not one of those you have to put draw you have to download like things from Intel and stuff that doesn't work so you just have to that your hard drive's disconnected <laughs> um, sometimes it might not be sometimes it might be a faulty hard drive. But, um, yeah, that's quite a problem. So, just get there. You're probably thinking, Dylan, it's probably going to work now. But, um, yeah, so um, I, I'm sure it's going to get past this. Um, so, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you out. Um, I actually... You might be thinking that I said in one of my vi oh no that was a scrap one but you might be thinking this is turning into a lap a laptop and computer channel but I reckon I might make a new channel and put it all on that because I'm yeah it's a bit it's called the motor man not the computer and technology person 
who thinks that uh, he knows about cars. So, um, <laughs> thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and see ya.